Panay, first of all, congratulations. Welcome here to Detroit in person. It's so good to see you here. What have the last 48 hours been like for you? Man, it's been a dream come true to be here and to really uh, observe the atmosphere and the culture here and to get to new, get to know all these new faces. is something that I've been looking forward to my whole life. And to be in this position right now and to actually go through it, again, it's a dream come true and I'm excited. You were pretty hype when we talked on virtual video conference the other night when you were drafted, but you said that you kind of had a moment of pause when that phone rang. You were kind of nervous to answer the phone. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. The moment was really slow, and uh, I, I questioned if that was a real number, <laughs> and I had to show my agent And uh, when he said yes, and I was, like, really shaking and uh, to answer in that phone just because, again, this is something I've worked all my life for and it was right in front of me and just to answer the call and to talk to Brad and to talk to the coach and, and everybody in the in that room was something special. Yeah, time slows down when a you're lot. reaching a lifelong <laughs> dream. A uh, you watched that video, I'm sure by now, of yeah. Brad and coach and Sheila reacting when they drafted you. Yeah. What did it mean to see their excitement? Man, it meant everything. To see them act like that, to uh, the reaction like that, to pick me, it means the world. And I can't wait to really give back that same energy and that's when I cross the line and come in every day, put in the time and really uh, work towards the same goal that we all want to accomplish here. You've talked about this elsewhere, but I want our Lions fans to get to know you as a person, not just as a football player. So tell me a little bit about your childhood growing up on the island. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of us in the one bedroom, one uh, bathroom house and uh, it was just all love and genuine. and. Uh, Everybody there only knew a certain amount of things because the island only offered uh, so much. And so we just woke up, enjoyed each other's company, played outside all the time, made up, made up games. Uh, we called one shooter and we just kind of just go around and acting like we're in Call of Duty or something <laughs> like that, yelling at each other. Uh, and uh, yeah, just enjoying what the uh, island had to offer. And then growing up, same thing. We brought it to St. George, Utah. Not as much because the weather's a little different. It's a lot dry. Uh, learned about lotion and uh, <laughs> <laughs> almost showered in lotion every day. And then also how cold it gets in the winter and uh, that I can't wear shorts all the time and I got to wear some shoes most of the time. And so, yeah, my childhood w uh, went through that transition like that, but it's something that I won't regret ever. Yeah, slightly different from American Samoa. <laughs> but one of the things you did have there was that you were born into a football family. Your dad was a football coach. How did he help instill a love of this game in you? Uh, I think that's where ultimately it came from and where it all started. Just because I uh, woke up mornings and just kind of went with him on a ride to his practice and kind of helped him set up and to be around the atmosphere, to fall in love with the players that he had. I always looked up to his players, like all the super, all the star players in high school. I would just kind of uh, go to them and uh, see how they're like and try to make friends with them and be kind of their little bro and <laughs> just enjoy being around their company and uh, try to see uh, how they do things and to copy it when I'm playing around with my little friends and uh, go from there and to have fun with them. And then you moved to the States to, you know, continue pursuing this dream of football. At what point did you think, I really want to play in the NFL one day? Uh, that, that uh, I guess, idea has always been there. NFL is something that I've always wanted to do. But when it really came into my mind that, like, hey, this is, like, this is real, is when uh, sophomore year uh, in high school, I was at a camp. And it was my first camp ever going against uh, everybody in the, I guess area and it was in LA and I, I held my own and I performed pretty well against the top athletes and uh, right then and there I was like okay the confidence built in me into where I can go out each day and work and work and, and grind into the player I am today. Well you've now reached that dream have you taken a second to soak it all in and realize it's actually happening? I haven't taken uh, a long time <laughs> but like a little short time like before I went to bed last night and kind of just thought to myself uh, where I came from and how far I've come and uh, just kind of thinking about that little kid on the island and when I was just at the football practice with my parents and or my dad and uh, at Marist and just kind of chilling there and uh, enjoying the company of everybody running around, all the, all the people just running around doing drills and stuff like that. So 
every time I think about that, I uh, get emotional. And uh, it, it creates a better motivation in me to keep going. Well, I'm sure your parents have had some of those moments as well. They were watching your first press conference as a Detroit Lion, wiping their eyes a little <laughs> bit. What does it mean to have them be so proud of you today? Again, it means the world to me uh, to share this moment with them just because of all the things we went through and uh, all the things that's happened to get to this spot and uh, to be in the position to provide and to really share this moment with them. I just don't want to do anything but give back because they've already done enough for me and that's and I know that and it's good enough for me. So now it's my turn, my turn to tell dad and mom to relax. I got it from here. Uh, in the words of Kodak, let me drive the boat. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I'm excited. I love it. And I know you're so excited to hit the field and show your parents all the things that you've worked for, show the Lions fans what yeah. you bring to the table. Uh, help us understand who you are as a player. Describe your game for me. So I would say my game is energetic. Uh, every time I'm out on that field, you can feel my energy. You can feel the passion that I have every time uh, you're going to know when I cross that line or you're going to know I'm in the room every time I step in between those lines just because I'm like a kid the first time he tasting candy every time I go out there I'm just enjoying it I'm just hyped up and uh just showing my energy we're pumped to see it can't wait till the fall Panay. thank you so much for hanging out thank with you us. <laughs>